Hi everyone, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to show you how to take a painting that's done on paper and adhere that to a cradled panel. All right. So when I travel, this is what I paint on. This is watercolor paper with gesso coating over it and then I paint on that. You can imagine as I travel the country teaching workshops that I can't lug a bunch of canvases around or even ship them because it's prohibitively expensive. So I use watercolor paper with gesso on it. That's what I paint on. It's light to carry and pack and it's easy to uh, carry it around, easy to paint on. So that's what I use. So I have some of these and people always say, well, you know, do you frame them or what do you do? I do frame them. Uh, my framer mounts these right to a rigid board like a piece of gator board and then puts a frame right around that. I mean, these are acrylic on paper. You don't need to protect them like you do watercolor. You don't need mats and glass and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can frame them directly like that. And what I like to do in the studio is take uh, just a cradle panel. This is a wood panel, right, that any, you can get at any uh, uh, art supply manufacturer. It's, uh, as you can see, it's just a wood frame and a wood panel. Right, and I painted this black, painted the edges black and inside a little bit. I'm just going to lay the paper painting on top of this and adhere it to this with some gel medium. That's all I'm going to do. Real simple process. And you can see on here I've got a couple little marks that show the extent of where I want to place my adhesive so that it doesn't squirt out all over the edges and make a mess on the frame. Okay. Now the effect of this when it's done is going to look much like a framed painting. It's very simple. I'm going to brush this off a little bit first to get any excess off. All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put, first I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of this painting. And then I'll put the adhesive here and I'll join them together to make a nice piece, right? Uh, now I don't always use a black finished edge. Sometimes I'll use the, the I'll buy a panel and just use it in a natural finish like I've done here. Put a little natural finish on it and on the edge and I think that makes a really nice looking presentation as well. And sometimes I'll go crazy, you know, and I'll paint this silver or gold or bronze or something, but most often, you know, it's going to be black or a natural finish. And these panels are pretty inexpensive, you know, uh, compared to framing, they're pretty inexpensive. Now this, this piece of paper is cut down to 22 by 28 and I'm mounting that to a 24 by 30 panel. So I'm going to have about an inch of edge showing which is about the same as I would have if I was putting a frame around it because the frames are about three quarters of an inch on the face. So it's going to have a similar look and feel to just having a frame around it. All right, well, let's get started. I'll show you how easy this is. So I got my gel medium, I've got a brush, I'm just going to start putting the gel medium right on the painting. Just using an old brush, <clears throat> right, this is, a, this is a matte gel medium, acrylic medium. All right, now I'm going to start putting the adhesive on the panel itself. I kind of get on these edges where I made my marks. All right, I got it on here good and thick. It's a good thick coating. I'm going to take my painting, lay it on the top. You know, you can move it around because I've got plenty of adhesive on here so I can move it around. Make sure I have these edges about equal. And you want to get it on here straight as possible. You got to get it straight on here. What you want to do is try to push it down so you can get any air out. Really flatten this thing down. I'm going to use a brayer to go over the painting and do that. Make sure we're getting a good adhesion. Alright. 
Okay, and once I'm convinced that's in good shape, I'll take a piece of plastic. This is just uh, plastic that I use to cover the tables with around here. It's a three mil poly. I get it at the paint store in a big roll. You know, it's 12 feet wide and 100 feet long. I just take that and put that on there because uh, the adhesive, if it squirts through, won't stick to the plastic. And I take a piece of board, which is this is really just a painting board that I use. Put that on the top. Put a little weight on it. Here I'm going to use some gesso and some white paint in gallon jugs. Right? And that's all there is to it. Right? I'll let this sit for 24 hours. This time tomorrow I'll come back and this baby will be beautiful. All right, so stay tuned. Hope this was helpful for you. This is a really easy technique for you to use. If you work on paper and you want a way to mount these onto a panel, you can do this on canvas too. I prefer the panels because they're more rigid and easier to work. But you can do it on canvas, and I've done that plenty of times. All right, I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Leave me some comments or some questions down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'll see you.